Welcome back, everyone. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Well said, Mrs. Churchill. Inspirational speaker Teresa Lewis is here to tell us how we can create value in the world when we do things that are positive and constructive, which I'm assuming is by giving quite a bit. So great to have you back. Yes. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks so much for having me. You know, and I think there's the heavy topics in the area. Obviously, you know, we need to kind of step back and say, okay, how do we make the world a better place? Myself, what can I do from where I'm at? And that's really, I think, a timely topic for what we're talking about here today, because this is mindset number six, which is one of the seven mindsets, which is all about how to live the life that you know can bring you happiness, meaning, fulfillment, and help you to be a blessing to others. So mindset number six is live to give. And this is really about you know time, talent, and treasure figuring out like how do we give back to the world in an amazing way not just you know you know I think it is it's certainly writing the check sharing the resources things like that like we can easily do that with the hurricane you know share some of our, our resources to help but then beyond that like what are those causes that are really connecting with us that we can get behind passionately support and then somehow we get our time and talent into that as well which aligns like with passion first which is one of our earlier mindsets that we've talked about where do you start with with acting sometimes you see this and you're like you're so drawn and you're oh, but you just kind of want to go like this instead of like you know how do you get out of your cocoon or your little ball that you've rolled yourself into yeah. an act and i think it's just kind of taking that first step and doing something because the thing is we always look around and we're like you know there's a lily tomlin quote she said i always want thought somebody should do something about this <clears throat> and then i realized i was somebody so you just have to do something and I think that's the challenge. Like for me, that's a huge challenge because I look around at all the needs in the world and the needs are huge. The needs are great. People are, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of challenge. So how do we then decide like, what do I support? Because there's too many options and there's too many needs. But then if we're paralyzed by that, we aren't doing any good either. So you just have to, you know, if something speaks to you, maybe it's a benefit that a friend is going through and you're like, wow, oh, I'm so sorry they're going through that. You know what? write the check, attend the benefit, give the gift basket, whatever it is. What do you find, um, you know, so a lot of people kind of like get in their cocoon and think about, hey, it's about me, about me, about me, especially it seems like with YouTube, Instagram, all this other stuff. How do you get people sort of outside of that and going, hey, how can I change my perspective? Oh, are we in a me society, really? <laughs> you said it much better than <laughs> I did. Flash, right? <laughs> yeah, the reality. And it's so true because we are all about, all, all about us all the time. It's kind of my agenda, my to-do list, my stuff. And I think when we do start getting beyond ourselves, that's why you know some of what we learn with Seven Mindsets is so critical because, yeah, it's about finding meaning, happiness, and success for yourself. But through that, you're helping others and you're impacting others. And when you do that, like the benefits that you reap, again, back to me, 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 right, are amazing. So anybody who's suffering, say, from depression, there are studies that show when you get outside of yourself and start volunteering and giving back, it'll actually help alleviate those depression symptoms because then you're not kind of focused on yourself. You're focused on others and how can I impact somebody else. And it kind of takes the pressure and the focus off yourself. Hey, the big thing, too, is to think, think, hey, I don't have to solve all this yeah. problem in one go. If I just give an hour a week, that's a great place to start. Maybe you find yourself giving more down the road, right? Absolutely. And a lot of organizations, of course, have tremendous opportunities, too, within the organizations where you can kind of get involved that way. So I think it's twofold. It's kind of figuring out what do you want to do for yourself, you know, maybe as an individual or even as a family. And then what can you do through your organization, too? And we can talk more about.